Hello everyone. I am Ashwin Kulkarni. Welcome you all in this quantum computing learning journey. From this video onwards, I'm starting a new bit about exciting quantum news of the week. So I'll I'll be sharing only one news and more about that at the end of the video. So till now, we have seen uh, uh basics of quantum computing, its significance, why it is getting used, and then in the previous video, we have seen what is quantum circuit what are different types of gates and how you can do a bit addition in a quantum computer and we have uh, basically matched it with the classical uh, half adder right so you must be saying enough about this uh, theory and enough about this lecture let's do something practical right so today i'll be showing the same half adder which we have uh, built in the last uh, video but we are going to build it on a uh, on a simulator on IBM Quantum website so i'll be sharing uh, everything how, how i'm doing it how i'm uh, going on to that website what you can uh, look on that website and everything about it so let's get started so uh, once you go to quantum-computing.ibm.com i'll i'll of course put that link into the description uh, you will see this home page where you can log in via ibm id or google id or linkedin uh get up twitter etc uh then i mean you will need to sign up first and then you can sign in uh, onwards so uh, uh since ibm quantum simulators and this quantum circuit composers are most popular uh in the industry right now so i'm taking this particular uh website and this uh, quantum composer uh in this video there are uh, quite a few not many Uh, also available uh, in the market but this is the one which we are going to follow throughout the uh, throughout the course as well now once you logged in you'll see uh, this home page where you can have two different options one is ibm quantum composer and one is ibm quantum lab so we are focusing on the ibm quantum composer on today's video uh the lab we are going to explore in uh, in the upcoming videos uh, you will see your summary about uh, what you have done till now your uh, latest um, programs your api token if you want to use it via api key or you want to provide it for the actual quantum uh, computer now here uh, here is uh, here is a quantum composer So once you open a quantum composer you will see a uh, visualization like this uh, I have renamed it as half adder Now on the left hand side you can see all your previous um, uh, previous uh, composers uh, those files uh, since I have only one here so I can see here Now uh, on the top uh, top side you can see all the gates uh, which we are going to learn about them in upcoming videos but uh, the main gates that we uh, we need to focus today is not gate then c not gate and toffoli gate now here i'd highly recommend you to go and check it out my previous video i'll link it here or uh, i'll link it in the description as well because uh, that has the crux of this particular video so there we have built a quantum circuit uh, theoretically in a quantum computer and correlated Uh, correlated it with the uh, classical computer so please go check out that video first now here i'm not going to explain the uh, the terminologies uh, of half adder in this video so uh, you, if you remember we have used two c not gates one toffoli gate and one measurement so the same uh, circuit uh, is also um, uh, built here where i have used q0 q1 q2 q3 as four qubits two are used for computation and two are as input bits and c4 is going to be used for measurement now uh, below you can see uh, some visualization about your uh, circuit uh, in the form of state vector or probabilities or q sphere so q sphere will look like this state vector will look like this and probabilities will look like this uh, we are going to touch upon all these things in further videos but it's good to um it's good to hear these words uh, so that it will be uh, sim uh, it will be simple for you to understand in upcoming videos now in a state vector you can see here since we have four different qubits you can have 
16 total possibilities right you can have uh, 16 total possibilities of being those qubits in either 0 or 1 right uh, now all these qubits are read from right to left okay for example if i just put an odd gate here then your state vector is going to change 1 0 0 0 so q0 is currently 1 because we have added a NOT gate which just uh, we just uh, switched the state from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so it is 1 0 0 0 okay now uh, let me remove this now we'll build uh, our uh, uh, our half header so we are going to use uh, Toffoli gate uh, sorry we are going to use CNOT gate from Q0 to Q2 right then another C0 gate from Q1 to Q2 and a Toffoli gate from Q0 from Q0 Q1 to Q3. Now this will uh, act as carry and these two gates are going to contribute for some right simple. So this is how we have built our circuit in the last uh, video uh, as well. Now on the right hand side you can see. Uh, this is a python code uh, so this is the python code for our circuit for example we have four quantum resistors four classical resistors uh, uh, which which is uh, going to lie on this particular line then a quantum circuit consists of these um, now quantum and classical resistors now a simply c naught gate which is represented by cx of course uh, don't worry about it uh, we are going to uh, touch all these gates independently in the upcoming videos now cx then another cx from 1 to 2 and then ccx which is a toffoli gate from 0 1 and 3 right now when your both input gates q0 and q1 are 0 then and of course uh, okay one more thing is we have used measurement uh, also in the last video so 2 is going to contribute for um sum and three is going to contribute for uh carry right now when all your all your bits uh, basically all your uh, input bits are zero zero then of course your sum will be zero and your carry will be zero right uh, that's how it represents so when your q0 q1 is zero then your q2 q3 is also zero right now if i introduce one C naught gate. Now, basically, initially, all these gates are in uh, in the zero state. When I introduce C naught gate to it, it changes uh, itself to one. Now, when Q zero is one, of course, your sum should be one, but carry should be still zero. Now, when Q zero is one, so which is Q zero is one, and Q one is zero. Now, your Q two, which represents your sum, is one and q3 which represents your um, carry which is zero so when when your uh, when your uh, qubit is in the form of one it it uh, transits uh, itself to blue color otherwise it is in the gray color so here also you can see q0 and q2 are in one state and both the remaining ones are in the zero state now if i introduce another one so for example we are adding one and one in binary in this case what's going to happen is your both input bits are zero zero sorry one one which are represented here and your q2 which is sum is zero so probability of one here you can see is zero percent that means it is in totally zero and all the other states um, which is q3 which represents your carry which is in the form of uh, one so this is how a quantum uh, a quantum circuit for half header can build in quantum composer of course don't worry about all the visualizations all the things you are seeing here we are going to touch upon it in uh, later videos now the last thing which i wanted to show is q sphere so here a q sphere is basically a state representation of one or more uh, qubit uh, at a one time and it, it can represent its current state as well as angle phase angle so here you can see your current state is 1011 q0 is 1 q1 is 1 q2 is 0 and q3 is 1 we are reading it from left to right to left right so this is a q sphere representation 
what it is and uh, wh why it is useful we are going to learn about it later but this is how you can practically simulate any quantum circuit now i would highly recommend you to go on this website and try it out on your own you can try different circuits uh, please try it out uh, on your own and uh, you'll have fun uh, i would like to share one quantum news uh, of this week uh, so of course i'm going to start with uh, the leading organization in the quantum industry which is ibm so the news about uh, today's week is IBM and HSBC Bank, which is the leading bank in the world. Uh, world. So IBM and HSBC are going to uh, increase their uh, uh, partnership uh, for quantum computers. So they are going to focus on the sustainability, fraud detection, reliability in the transaction and smoother and faster transaction experience. So they have increased their partnership uh, for this. And of course, uh, let's hope for the best outcomes from this partnership. Thank you so much uh, if you have made it up to here. So I hope you are uh, liking my videos and if you if yes, then please share with your friends, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, please comment below how um, how these videos are or if I can improve them in any certain way. Thank you so much and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.